Okay, welcome to uh, a video at one o'clock in the morning. Um, this video is not a video that you know I do want to make. Um, I, I really do want to make this video not this you know to cause trouble or to cause any harm. I have no script. I'm just gonna freestyle this and hope for the best because you know. I'm just going to speak my mind, really, um, what's been going through my head recently, and why my channel is, you know, being quite sensitive recently, and why it's gone very dark recently, as you can tell by the profile picture. It means nothing, I just wanted my channel to be dark in the first place, there's nothing to this. Uh, let me just change colours, to this my colour, I prefer to have it colour, there we go. But, all I'm going to say is, this video is for my mental health so i am making this for my own gain um not asking for any support or any backup in this video and i wish no harm to the people involved in this video not just that if i don't upload after this it probably either a something's happened or c I don't know anything could happen and hopefully I can still load after this video but this video is a very serious video I have talked about it but not fully um I think there's still a case on it but I don't give a fuck anymore it's affecting me as a person and it has been playing on my mind for the past two days I ain't gonna lie to you mate um and this is something that I really want to talk about and something that I'm going to talk about and it is private life but to be honest with you at this point how can it be private life at this point when it's affecting me a lot to the point where every day it's just you know bullshit really it's just every day torture torture my head pounding but once again I'm not asking for any symphony or I'm not asking you to pick my side or anyone else's side in real voice party. Um, I'm not asking anyone to, you know, go attack anyone or any of that sort of things. But, like, I ain't gonna stop you. This ain't my responsibility. I prefer you not to, but, you know. So, start off how this all evolved. Um, and no one's to blame on this, I don't think, I don't think no one's to blame, but once again, it has fully made me into the person I am today, and the reason why I've abandoned half of my mates, yes, I have been making videos with people, but it doesn't mean they're my mates or they're people that I talk to on a daily, I talk to them once. For video and fuck off. Um, I sorted this Tiana situation out. That took a lot of stress off me, but I still don't talk to her. I generally don't talk to her, and if you want me to prove that, then I'll prove it one day. But right now, I ain't gonna prove nothing because there's nothing to prove about the Tiana situation now. And me and Tiana are fine, and I don't really want to go through our private DMs together without permission. Um, of course, if anything just happened with Tiana, I will make it public, or if it has to be public, but I try and keep everything private. But in this situation I'm in right now, with my mental health and that, it's kind of, you can't really keep it private when it's kind of affecting you, uh, and you're trying to juggle YouTube and juggle other stuff around, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's just one of them where, it's just hard. I've been trying to grind the content, trying to push it away from me. But the more I push it away, I've noticed it's the more strong it gets. Um, and very much, that's the whole thing. That's just the disclaimer. Um, I want to put that out there to not send any hate to anyone. And please, don't pick my side if you don't want to pick my side. I'm not asking you to. This is no manipulation either. I know a lot of people do that these days in the influencer content creating world that people, you know, a lot of people do 
manipulate and do do stuff that you shouldn't be doing and this is my opinion if you are doing that and if you are watching this and you are going to become an upcoming content creator please do not follow the footsteps of logan paul or edp or i say this guy does minecraft but in my opinion this guy does minecraft does have mental health and i do feel sorry for the guy but this is no no you know wait a minute youtuber feeling sorry for them video um but let's start off from before everything happened before i even met this girl that i'm talking about in this video so of course i have a i used to have a boy called mishek uh i'm not gonna give him the full real names just to keep the privacy uh under bay uh but we'll call it mtb uh that's what it's called it's got mtb and we have made a song together um it's uh barbies we made a song together that's the only song we made together though i produced it and he rapped over it uh the beat was just a free sample off youtube and basically me and me got he gets a little bit hyper every now and then and yes he did try and put my pants down but not in a sexual assault way you know the police did say that but in my beliefs wasn't a sexual assault i mean it could be seen as that but it was just me checking hyper and just him being him and i, I didn't want to get kicked out and be honest if he didn't get kicked out i don't think this whole situation would happen um in my opinion anyway but basically he got removed because you know I was in a care home. It was a semi-independent. If you didn't actually know that, the care home I was at. Right now, I'm in a solo placement, so I don't actually live fully by myself. There's still support workers working with me. Uh, my social worker is now leaving me. Not just that, I'm with adult social workers, which I have no clue. It's like starting from scratch again, because with child social workers, with the council, I actually do have a relationship with them, kind of, and they actually do know me um same with the police the police know me quite well i reckon um well i hope they do because it makes a lot more stuff easier in my opinion because i'm not no criminal i don't go around robbing shops terrorizing people don't get me wrong i did that back in the days when i was like 13 14 but once again i've with all teenagers we have done dumb ass stuff that makes no sense at all but we all done it, um, and as I get older, I realise that family is the best thing you have. Um, that's what I found out anyway. Except for one of my own family members did turn against me for no reason and start accusing me of false, you know, shite. That got me so angry, and probably why it's affected me more now than it would before. Because I've been accused of this shite before. And I think people need to realise that power that they have can affect a lot of people around you. And not just that. It's a very serious thing. And not just that. It can ruin a person's life forever. Like, it, it can completely get rid of their... The whole thing they've been working for, gone. Everything they worked for, gone because you decided to go oh yeah this happened this happened this happened and this happened and recently that never happened it just you just made it up um but basically the whole situation like me check got kicked out blah blah blah, blah. and about august around about august um the time of not over yet the ksi reaction the reaction times i say that i don't really do anymore but i if 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 i don't get stopped from making youtube videos after this then i will carry on making reaction videos if you want it of course that's if i can get my head straight though and it's gonna be a while since i can you know fully heal myself because this cut fucking deep i promise you now this cut deep um Actually, to be honest with you, it's very fucking brave of her to do that. 
Uh, I'm not a woman abuser. I've never abused a woman. But when people are making accusations about stuff like that, then of course I'm gonna be pissed, right? And a person that has got anger problems, as you can see throughout my whole career. Well, I won't say this is a career hobby. I say this whole hobby of YouTube. You've seen how angry I can actually get. I mean, I came more mellow now, but back in my younger days. You can see how angry I used to get. It, like, if you go from back my old videos, you'll see holes in the walls. Uh, there's one video where I broke my desk because I threw a remote at it. I broke thousands of remotes. I've the police have been in my house trying to restrain me. Yeah, this is all secrets that you probably will never know of, and this is secrets that you not many YouTubers will come out with, and they will never come out with stuff like this. And this is one thing they want to keep protected because they think that people are going to attack them and if people do attack me for this then I don't give a fuck like I want to die anyway to be honest with you I don't give the point of being in this world uh, in my life in my opinion I don't see the point of being in this world I'd rather you know become peaceful and I like if this world weren't so mad and so you know horrible to live in I think I would actually stay in this world as long, I, I'll probably live here forever, but as the years go on, I notice that a lot more people are becoming toxic. It's all about how much money you have, how much power you have, how much gain you have, how much followers. You know, when you get more followers than someone else, to get jealous or stuff like that. The amount of text messages I get of people just being jealous because I get over like. God knows how many views, I don't care about the views, literally, I don't check that often, I check every now and then, don't get me wrong, I do check, um, but, I, I don't know why people are so bothered about fame and all this shit, I do this for fun, I don't actually care about the, the fame, to be honest with you, I think the more fame you have, the more pressure you have, and the more pressure you have, the more you're going to fuck up, and the more eyes on you, I don't like eyes on me in the first place, if I actually start to make a YouTube channel properly without rushing at all and kind of just like, you know, actually thought through what I really want to do and what kind of stuff will, will be like with uh, being an adult. But of course, me being a teenager and being a dumb cunt I am, I didn't think that. And of course, I reviewed my face on my first ever video on my channel. Now, you probably could say, yeah, Carmine, you look completely different five years ago, like nearly five years ago from now. Yeah, I agree with you. I do look completely different. But the problem is with that is it's still me. It's not going to change. I'm still the same person. You can probably tell if you saw me in the streets that that's the same person. Uh, it's not going to be any different. But you could say that I could delete the videos and delete all the videos with me in it. But right now, it's way too late. And if I delete all my videos now there'll be nothing on my channel and I'm not starting for scratch you know how much fucking work I have put in this site the reason why I started YouTube though is not for views or fame or money or anything like that I could not care I do this for my mental health I do this because I enjoy it I do it because it makes me happy it makes me happy seeing other people happy that they watch me right it's the whole thing if you don't like what I am then go ahead, go watch another YouTuber that you enjoy. Don't just, you know, stick to one YouTuber that you hate. It's just not healthy. And that's what I'm trying to tell my haters. I'm just trying to get them away. So go, like, why are you watching me then? Because if you don't like me, then don't watch me. But you watch me that many times that, to be honest with you, the haters are the one building my channel, not the fans. So our followers, I call them followers. I call them... I call them as people, I don't really care about fans, it's not, that's not the name I want to use on people, it's just, I've got people on my channel, that's fine, okay, fans just feels too organic and too, not organic, that's the wrong word, feels too, feels like I'm fucking Mike Tyson or, you know, some big, big, big famous person like Mr. Beast, you know, I feel like that, like, fans, you know, it doesn't sit right to me. Followers, they don't face it right, but they it better because, you know, I feel more better to say it. But when I say, like, people or people that watch me, it just feels nicer that, you know, 
people enjoy your content and hopefully you know you do enjoy my content if you don't then simply fuck off and just go just i don't care just go away and just watch another youtube like pewdiepie or go watch whoever youtuber you can find there's a variety there's millions and millions and millions of youtubers on this platform by now and i've been doing youtube since 2009 so well this channel is 2008 but I have been doing YouTube since 2009 off a little webcam uh, on my dad's Windows 7 computer um, in the garage actually and it was quite, you know, there were the days I enjoyed the days I wish I could go back to the days since they were the days I am now but anyway, I was going to stop rambling I'm going to just get cut to the chase and basically, basically oh, okay, I'll keep it repeating myself Today, Mishek, blah, 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 he got removed for what he did, and Mishek, I don't hate you, mate, I have nothing against you, mate, uh, I never tried to get you kicked out, and when you did confront me in the car park outside my college, you didn't really scare me, you didn't really do anything, I weren't ass, really, I just got in the car and thought, fuck it, whatever, I don't really care, I ain't no bitch boy, but, like, I ain't gonna fight someone that I care about and support, so, I don't know about you, unless you do that, then you're a little bit fucked, uh, but, I don't personally and this is August you know August time and I we have to go back to these videos to put me in playlists because that's what I've been doing I've been trying to sort my channel out and been trying to sort it all out and you know make it all neat and tidy but when I go back to like it's not over and there's a couple of songs that does remind me of this girl and it seems to quite hot right now I keep been hearing them everywhere and it's actually you know making me more angry and more you know more upset and the more i'm thinking like it's making me hate people more and my hatred towards humans these days is so strong that at this point i'm very snappy uh, i can give you an example like a woman asked me very nicely to say can you not swear please in the bank and i snapped very hard and basically swore the hell out of her, which if you're watching this, the bank uh, the bank person, who, uh, who I don't know your name or anything, uh, I'm sorry, and um, I hope, you know, I hope everything's fine, and yeah, I, I, I wish I never did that, but once again, there's no buts really, but you have, you, you didn't really say anything wrong, you just said please don't stop swearing, you didn't speak to me rudely, or you didn't really speak to me, to say no, it's I'm not crying. I just legit in my fucking eyes. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry if I treated you that way. But there's no books, but let's, let's just go and carry on. But, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, this video could be up to two hours long because I'm probably going to talk everything through in detail. Detail, I mean, like, when I mean detail, mate, I mean, like, I'm going to fully go through this whole thing. Like, start to finish, how I met this girl to how it ended. Everything about it. Everything that I can remember, and it might be, I might sit here for a bit, in silence, and just try and think, you know, how this whole situation handled. Because once again, there's a lot to remember, and from someone that doesn't really remember stuff, and, you know, quite, got quite a foggy mind, I do try and help. Try and help? I do try and think. Sorry, help was one word. Um, so, basically... Reset game, and then, of course, the social worker came in about August. It was about August, in August time, um, and Reset was there to say no. Um, I thought, sorry, okay, I just remembered something. I'm sorry about this. Okay, when I said Meshek, um was, you know, is he didn't get removed, I don't think this would have happened. But, to be honest, that statement could be more valid because I don't think it would happen. Uh, but I don't know. We would never know because it never happened. Um, so we can never tell. Uh, the only people that can tell, probably nature and, you know, I don't believe in God, but, you know, whoever controls, you know, whoever created us as a person, eight religions. Um, but yeah, Misha was there and of course social worker came in and I was... You know, I thought that was the YP that was coming, but turned out it wasn't. It's that for this fat ginger nut came in. Um, 
I want to be fat, I mean, like, she was quite, she wasn't fat, fat, I won't say she was fat, she was, she's not fat, she's just, I don't know how to explain it, she's like my mum, she's like my mum's weight, okay, my mum's not fat, right now, she's like a little bit, you know, I don't know how to explain, of course, I don't really look at my mum in that way, because, you know, that would be a little bit weird, um, I don't know about you, it would be a little bit weird looking at my mum, um, of course, you do look at your mum because when you talk to her, and it depends how far away and you're, you know, the way you perfect, 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 I can't say this word, perf, perfectic, perfectic, not perfectic, perf, perf, what you look at, okay, what you look look at and the way you see stuff, because, of course, if I'm right in front of my mum, I'll look right in her face, but, if it's like she's in a room and sort of across the room, yes, I can see her whole body. Um, of course, my mum wears very thin clothes um, because you can probably tell. She just wears thick clothes, but she likes thin clothes. And I'm the one that sometimes buy clothes for her sometimes. I have bought clothes in the past. Um, not many, many times, though, but I know she's quite thin. Anyway, stop fat, but she's not you know, skinny, she's like in the middle, anyway, that's, that's basically, that's girl, and, basically, we, on the first day of her being here, uh, not here, but, at the, you know, the care room, um, she asked for a Snapchat, and, me being me, I just gave her my public Snapchat, and never my private, so anything like that, because I didn't really know her, so I won't just give my private Snapchat away, it's just something I don't do, ah, my fucking hand, I just twisted it, that's it, uh, something I just don't give randomly. I don't go to like, you know, even if a girl asks, even the fittest girl, could fucking like, I don't know what fit girl could be out here. Uh, you know, when being girl accounts, you know, the one with fat asses and all that. I get that all the time. It does my fucking head in. Uh, meme accounts, why do you do that? I don't get, like, you do it at the worst time possible. I'll be at my mum's house, scrolling through Insta, and a fucking girl's ass will come up. It's not something I want to be looking at in front of my young brother and sisters and my mum. You could probably say that, oh, come on, you can just block the accounts. And you're telling me I'm going to go through, unblock, not unblock, unfollow hundreds and hundreds and thousands of accounts. Simple option, just don't go on Insta, come on. Just, that's, that's, that's more of a simple option, which I actually do do. I don't really go on Insta in front of people. Um, that very thing. Don't I go on it, it's just to upload photos, and that's it. That's the only thing. There's, I don't even really look at Insta. And the reason why is because of the songs that are on there that reminds me of this girl. So I don't actually look at Insta or TikTok. I mostly watch YouTube and watch Kavros and stuff like that, which I respect that guy. Kavros is a sick guy. Of course, coming back to the situation, this Bobby, this Bobby person came in this girl and we started talking, blah, 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 and we got a Snapchat and... I if I will go through my whole screenshots one day, um, after this whole case is done because I don't think I can show you that right now. Uh, but I showed everything because I've screenshotted everything. I've pretty much got everything, evidence and everything that is like in bullet points and stuff. Um, let's check it. Just give it a second. <clears throat> anyway, so me and Bobby start talking and. Nothing really happened, spectacular. We kind of just we didn't really talk. I don't think we did anyway. We didn't really talk. We did talk. We we only talked on Snap, and we didn't actually talked in person. I don't know why we didn't, but we just didn't. And I think the weeks was there. That's when I went to that fire station um, with my sisters, and we were talking then too. I was just asking how she was and. How she's feeling, how does she think about the care home, and you know, just feedback in general because the because NASA or Saeed, um, I respect them a lot, and you know, there's some stuff I do, you know, don't agree with, like the cat situation that, you know, it's not relevant, but you know, it, yeah, we have got a cat, I didn't really realize throughout my whole videos, um, of Cop Midnight, but basically. We carried on, me shit got kicked out, and of course, Bobby was there, and if I could see these red flags, I think I would have stopped myself from doing what I just, what I did, 
uh, because I now looking back on it, I saw a lot of red flags now. But when you're in a trance uh, and you love someone as much as I did, and just as a boy I am, you know hormones and all that fucking mm, fucking me up, right? You don't really see the bad, really. And yes, my mum was right. I believe my mum is right. And my mum knew straight away that she was a toxic bitch. But I didn't see that, of course. And I'm not one of the people that just judges people straight away. But after the whole Misha situation, that's when my mum got bad news of her. Um, and now I think about it, I don't know what were lies about her and what wasn't lies. Because... She was talking about her past and her brothers and, you know, her brothers blacking, blacking out and all that. Uh, which is very sad because that's what I, I have done before. I blacked out myself and the reason why I went to is, that's the reason why I had a break off YouTube for a long time. I had a break for 11 months it was. Nearly a year, uh, for the whole 2020, I wasn't on YouTube. I wasn't in uploading. That could happen t after this video, but we'll never know. But... When we, um, she was just sitting there and laughing, and not just that, of course, Misha being the simp he is, and being a little, like, girl catcher, I like to call him, uh, it was like a girl catcher, he got me to headlock, we, uh, of course, when he tried, when he did it in my bedroom, I got into headlock and actually restrained him, um, not fully, but I did restrain him just to stop him from, like, pulling my pants down, um, so I did headlock him and, you know, sat him down and WWE wrestled him to the ground uh, which caused a big loud band which the staff didn't really care they didn't really come up or anything like that I think they shouted up to us but we just said we're fine I think that's what happened I don't know can't remember all the CCTV footage that is in that house I have no access to it I can't get it at all I ain't gonna go and ask for it because I'm not like you know be a bit sketchy asking for CCTV footage uh, for a house. The only people that will probably have that CCTV footage is the police. Um, so, yeah. Basically, after Misha got removed, um, which I didn't, I didn't really want, in my opinion, uh, maybe probably got starting to know each other more and more. And when I was in her bedroom a couple of times, she actually said a couple of times that she preferred Mishek. Mishek? Mishek? over me, which should have been a, a red flag already, um, which I didn't actually take, yeah, it, it did hurt me a little bit, because I did actually, for me, so simple, uh, as soon as I met her, um, which did happen, yes, I did, I did do that, and I'm not going to do it again, fuck that, because clearly, just, I'm not the right guy for girls, or something like that, and, you know, every time I do try and get comfortable with a girl, it just, you know, bats fires with me, and, it does, I don't know what happens, I don't know why it happens to me, I generally don't know, I wish I could find out, um, I, I probably could tell, I could probably tell by, like, if I actually saw myself in third person, and now I've got YouTube and all that, I could probably tell why, because I am quite a weird guy, I'm not exactly the guy you see in the streets, you know, I am quite weird, I mean, not seeing my YouTube videos, for fuck's sake, uh, but, that's just YouTube for you, just microphones in my face, um, so basically, I ain't got to the part, the main part yet, and it's been about half an hour, so if you're still here, hello, uh, please like the video, um, if you want to like the video, of course, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, just, I, I generally don't know, um, let me read out. I'm trying to think what happened after that. Oh yeah, there was an all occasion, so about the whole Manchester Arena, I think. No, it wasn't, was it her? Was it her or was it? Yeah, well, one of her cousins died in Manchester Arena, so uh, that was quite sad. Though. And me being the edgy kid I am, didn't really make a joke about it, but... I did kind of because there was a tw that I saw Twitter. I was going through my old like old posts on Twitter, 
and since I was an edgy kid, which I do regret, and it's something that, you know, I wouldn't make jokes about now, but back then when I was 13 and edgy, and I couldn't back then, uh, I made it quite obvious, and I was making Manchester Arena jokes, which I ain't going to say right now, because, you know, that's just not me. Uh, I don't believe in that shit. I would never delete it because I'm not going to hide it from you guys. Not like these YouTubers who delete tweets because they want to hide it from you. I'm not going to hide it. Go ahead. Go see it if you want. Don't really give a shit. Um, I made a joke about Cousin and that was the first altercation. But this is also another thing. Every time me and her did get into an argument with each other, she used to run to a bedroom and just sit there for a while. Then about 15 minutes later... Either her or me would text each other, go, are you okay? And the whole situation of me either of her would just be out the window. And it just, you know, be out that window. It'd just be chucked out. The whole situation would be out the window and just gone. Like, you, you wouldn't know it existed in the first place. Um, and basically, that happened a couple of times. Our relationship, our bonding, it got really, you know, good. And I thought it was decent. In my opinion, um, me and her bonding was quite good. The way we were together, and we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, not that kind of together. I mean, like together in like how to explain together like friends, like best friends, BFFs. Okay, if that's the right term. Anyway, um, and we keep on, you know, building up bonding. And then my second cousin, who's called Katie, came, and I've been knowing Katie for a long time. I I didn't actually know her. I I said know her. I never know her personally because I've been to her weddings back in twenty eighteen. Um, her mum and dad used to be a very good friend to my nan, and I never knew she was my second cousin until I saw her mum and dad in on her bed, not physically there. I mean, like, a picture on her bed. She was to, like, put it on the wall or something. But I saw her mum and dad. And to be honest with you, if you're really that OG, you remember It's Not Working video with her mum and dad, with her mum in it. About 2013, 2014? 2015. Right about that time. I was about 11, 10, 9. Right about that. And I didn't realise she was my second cousin until I saw her thing. And I asked my mum if there's any beef around my family and stuff like that. And they said, so that was fine. That was cool. I was like, okay, cool. I became not close to her, but Bobby Kitson making jokes saying, oh, you got a new friend now. You can go You can go talk to uh, Katie. And I sort of took that as a red flag, but I didn't. And I was like, no, I, I don't want to. Um, I don't know why I said that. I just did. Um, and also Bobby was always in, you know, Katie's room with me all the time. And, of course, her being my second cousin, I never actually did anything inappropriate or anything that is deemed as incest. Just because I'm not that kind of guy that does stuff. Of course, I never knew before, so I did make sexual jokes and stuff like that. But, you know, you know, I, when I found out, I stopped making sexual jokes. Um, I still make sense of jokes in front of my family, it's just not as extreme as you might think. It just might be, that's what she said, kind of jokes. You know, that's the kind of jokes I say, it's like, that's what she said, you know. It's just my favourite word, and you can go to one around me that say, yeah, can't we just say that quite a lot. So, we keep on, like, thingy, and Bobby got set up by her cousin once. And I tried my hardest to, to support the bitch. I tried to support her as much as I can. Reinsuring her that she'll be okay. Reinsuring her that nothing will happen to you. Reinsuring her that everything will just blow over. She was really upset. She was really anxiety was going up on her. And paranoia was really high on her. And I did kind of feel bad that her own cousin had set her up. And... You know, if it is true, then I do feel bad. But by the way she was acting, I guess it was true. Because I know how it feels for your own cousin, your own family member to set you up. Because it's happened to me, the whole cousin situation. Um, 
which probably made me into the person I am today. Um, so time goes on, time goes on, and around about this time was a time where the whole messages were a little bit mad. I could probably get the messages up on thingy. Uh, but I'm not promising though. Yeah, there's legit nothing there. Uh, I can literally put it on my other screen if you can see. There's nothing there. There's legit nothing there. Um, there's legit. Yeah, these are all just messages to my mum, uh, social worker, and Shakira. You know, all them people. There's no messages between me and her, just two other people. Um, and if I can, I would get the screenshots up, but it's on my phone, and I don't know if there's a way to get the screenshots up. If I can think. Yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I can't be, I'm not gonna edit this video because I'm just gonna real, I'm just gonna upload it straight from OBS, so I won't be editing this. So I try and go through the whole conversation. I know I said I was gonna do this in another video, but. Just to really cement my evidence, you just have to, you know, I will show you that the screenshots do exist, and any screenshots that you don't believe, then that's just up to you, and that's just for you to decide, and I'm not here to make you believe me, um, if these screenshots are real. So let me just go down, I've got to find them. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember this now. I'm sorry about the screenshots. They'll have to wait for, you know, a little bit longer in this video. The whole Mia situation, or Jess. Now, Jess didn't really last that long. She lasted two weeks, right? That's how long she lasted. Um, oh, yeah, the Sophie, too. The whole Sophie thing. Yeah, that, that reminds me now. I forgot about the whole Sophie thing. So, so Mitch and Matt just said, you know, this is my memory trying to remember stuff. And it's... These kind of screenshots that kind of remind me of what happened. So this girl called Jess, uh, or online as Mia. She wasn't called Mia. I don't think she was anyway. Uh, that was just her name on social. And Bobby kept the same why she changed her name to a different name. And this is what I'm going to say is, realistically, that's her choice. It's her socials. If she wants to do that, fair enough. Uh, you know, it does make you look suspicious. Because it were, if she wants to change her name to Mia, you know, to Mia, and then I'm not going to say her last name because I don't want to add her, um, then that's fine by me. I don't really give a fuck. But basically, so came in the house acting all like, like she owns the fucking house. Now, in my case, no one owns the house. We all look after each other. We all have our backs. Well, that's what I thought anyway. Clearly not. Um, and. We carry, uh, like, basically, she carry on being this bitch. She was rude to Faisal, which did tip me a little bit, where the point where I just go, oi, like, don't be speaking to Faisal like that, because all he's doing is just doing his job. Like, don't be speaking to him like that. He's done nothing wrong. He's just, like, you, you need to stop. Like, if, you be, if you're thinking that you're the bitch of the house, I promise you now, you are not the bitch of the house, right? I went, I don't take shit. I, I've i been spectating you and, you know, of course, spectating when she's in, like, my view. I don't fucking spy on her. I don't go peeking through, a, like, the keyhole for a bedroom. Something I don't do. Um, I never have done. Never done that in my life. And it's a bit weird as you do. Um, but, yeah, I was, like, having a word with her. And, in fact... The day I said that to her, when I live it's that, the day when she was fighting with Sophie. Um, Bobby and Sophie were besties, really. Uh, they were quite good friends. Um, and a lot of things that Bobby did say to me was, oh, I keep myself to myself. Where clearly you fucking don't, because every time new YP came, or every time someone came, you instantly became friends, for whatever reason. Which is fine, you can become friends with anyone, I'm not asking, but you you can't really say one thing and then say another, which you did with me and like this whole situation happened. 
Um, but basically, it all happened, and the whole Mia thing, I'm going to explain this to. Um, okay, so I think this was her... I think this was... So Mason was, I think, her cousin, uncle, or brother. One of them three. I can't remember. Um, so he texts me going, listen, mate. I don't want to be horrible, but can you leave Mia alone? I don't care what beef you two have, but leave it now. I replied back saying, Hello mate, I was just trying to, but see, trying to disrespect my home and my mates at the time. No, not my mates anymore, my mates, for no reason, then tried to cancel my socials with my cousin, um, which has been proven by her that she said, she lied, that said lied. When she started living with me, I tried to make sure she was, sure was, com she was comfortable. But then she started doing stuff which my mates didn't like. And they didn't, don't understand for it. They don't stand for it. My mates uh, confronted my mate. My mate confronted my, oh. My mate confronted my mate and being a creep and started to get violated and biting. My mate's finger. What? What the fuck does that mean? What do, what do I mean by that? That makes no... I, I, my English is so bad with these text messages, you know. Like, yeah, it's, it's really bad. My mate confronted my mate. Well, Mia wasn't my mate, so how the fuck does that make sense? Um, and I did not tolerate these such actions. I stayed quiet. And I stay to advise as best as possible. But I'm not saying I'm not staying quiet, but she needs to get some respect because she's gonna get tortured, not by me, but whoever meets her and whatever uh what that what I said. Yes, I got angry as at my former the cousin which has no correlation to the situation of these incidents. I know she's got I know she's I know she, Instant and she knows, she knows I've got mental. Hang on, screenshots are messed up. Fuck, where's that screenshot now? Okay, she knows I got mental, and she still tapped me. I've got mental health too, but it doesn't mean threaten women. I never threatened women. Um, yeah, I did get a little bit rowdy, but I never threatened her. She threatened me with a fucking knife. She said she going to stab me, which I just said, come on, bro, do it then. Fucking idiot. She never did, just so you know. She was too much of a pussy to come back to the house and actually stab me. By the way. Um, yeah, I'm not a person for that too. I never threatened her, even though she said she's going to stab me. But don't bring my cousin and try to... Council, which I've been very proudly working on, and that's when trying to tell her straight that laying hands on people is never right, and no matter what they say, I still agree to that. I will always calm a situation down, just to never. Ha I would never lay hands on someone, personally, unless it was a, a life and death situation, and I was about to get fucking, you know, battered and drunk on. Then I would actually lay hands on people. Um. I would do the same thing if it was a man. I try to respect her, but she can't return the favour back. But anyway, I'm going to leave. She's out of my house, and that's it. I will get... I'll be get... I, I will be... Get her done, and that's it. Sorry for inconvenience. Is there any more? Oh, dear. And then basically, I text her first. Oh, yeah, she blocked me. That's another thing that happened. She blocked me. I think she unblocked me now. Uh, these were the stories we put up. They got taken down by Insta. Um, there's a lot of screenshots here. Pedo wrecked his cousin. That's why he's in care. Don't tell the truth, it isn't. Um, I'm actually in care just because of my. Um, wait a minute. 
I'm in care because of my actions in Pontville when I stabbed someone. Which, if you're watching this in Pontville, of course, I'm sorry if, uh, if I did that to you. And Pontville, yeah, I'm sorry. But Derek, you are a bastard still. Anyway, uh, saying I can't fight, at least I can defend myself. And chatting, and chatting about my tits, at least I got tits, bro. Unlike the girl, Pancake. Pancakes, you chat about peace, but you chat shit. And bro, stop saying I look like a downy when you got need. And it's not nice to chat about yourself. Look at you, mate. I I call myself a retard every fucking day. So, okay. Uh, the girl left no mats, and I've been hitting a lot hard in my life. That girl can't fight for shit, and but still give it to her for trying to stop stop harassing me, you're a pedo and you rape your little cousin bro, so stop, shot your head out, plus she was begging for someone to get her, well yeah, she was begging because guess what Jess, you have a tits in her face, and your tits were disgusting, like legit, I'm really, I glad I didn't record it because I would have STDs all on my fucking camera, anyway, here you are, here's the uh, screenshot of this, of Insta taking my things out, which means she reported it. Um, and then, hang on. I, I text her 9 in the morning. That's when it happened. And that happened about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. And it said, Yo, lol, you can't fight, bro. What the fuck? You punch like a downy. And your tits are so saggy. What the fuck? Plus, got STDs all over. Yeah, I basically roasted this shit over. Not really, though. I just dissed her a little bit. Wasn't really roast. Uh, but think I'm boring, got bigger tits than Sophie, and Sophie can't fight. But bro, don't think I won't fight you, I'll stab you, bro. So you're going to use hands on Sophie, but since I'm a man, you're going to use a knife. Assuming genders. Uh, I'm not saying trans, I'm saying she's just, you know, she's assuming that men are strong, which are not, just so you know, women and men can be equally as strong. But okay. Um, I'll stab you, bro. You rate your your pedo, you pedo rate your cousin. Yeah, I would dare you, bro. I wanted her to try and stab me because I would have, you know, bent her arm and snap her arm in half. Um, as I've done that before to say no, I've snapped people arms before. Um, I put kid rate, bro. Okay, lol. Don't get lippy with me over the phone, pussy. Wait, just you wait. Oh, shimmery timbers. I'm fucking shaky, lol. Bro, you're calm. Yeah, legit, I just wasn't scared at all. I was like, here we go, for fuck's sake. And she said that 4 o'clock, and it went on to about 7. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I put this on my story. Um, and she said, I don't care. I get quite pissed off. I'm getting quite pissed off, which I was. I was actually getting really pissed off. At the point where I was actually going to snap. Um, I really wanted her to be in the house with me. Uh, because, you know, I couldn't go out. because I could have gone out, but it would have, you know, messed my placement up. But to be honest with me fighting, I would have messed my placement up too. I don't really think of that. Um, I do not agree to fight in my house. I want a peaceful life and house. There's no need to lay hands on each other. Not susceptible. We are all near adults and I'll stay quiet for a while. I'm losing my temper. I don't care. She shouldn't get in my face, bro. And you chat about peace in the house, but still chatting and causing shit. So leave me alone. I mean, you just legit said you're going to stab me. So of course I'm not going to leave you alone. But okay. Um, leave me alone. Chat shit. So leave me alone. Blah, 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 blah. And be the bigger person and keep quiet. Then you just go in again. Your own advice. You disabled prick. I mean, thanks for, I didn't know you are a fucking doctor, mate. Uh, I didn't know you was my psychologist, uh, but okay. Um, yeah, guidelines, and she put that on my cousin, and she put, uh, she put that on her, uh, was it that? Yeah, she put that on her story. Uh, you can't really see it, it's a little bit blared. Uh, we all know you rate your five-year-old cousin. She's actually not five, but okay. Well, right now she's about. How old will she be now? Fuck. I, I don't actually know how old she is now, you know. Um, and make sure you look like you're saying you're gonna smack a girl. Mate, if you want to smack 
I don't care what gender you are. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you should never get protected because of your gender. I don't want to get protected because of my gender. I don't know about you guys, but, you know. Uh, I'll be a big man, but then blocks me. Okay. Some people these days can't handle the truth. And if you can't handle the truth, don't do it in the first place. She was five and she was your cousin. How sick. I did sing the voice message and I don't know if that's why she's still there. Um, I replied to her, replied to her again. I actually sent her some up, but it kind of didn't send, as you can see. It's got a red mark there. Um, yeah. And then, okay, be mature then and stop giving me drama. Well, don't cause it then. Stop coming at me then. And I have, I won't have do a, anything to say to you, any of you. The only thing Sophie's done wrong is got in your face, but she did because you were being a creep near her door. In my belief, and the home said that you were in the wrong. Even staff said it about you, and why you think Sophie didn't get removed and and removed you because you, they have reported the report of you causing problems for the home and the mansion don't accept the sort of behaviour from anyone I don't no home would um it's okay um some of these screenshots are messed up because they're not all in like in an order to say no they're just on my camera roll so that's all messed up a little bit for whatever reason I don't know um, I kind of forgot. It never once threatened you once you said you're going to stab me. Does I look like I, I'm going to shit? Shit, let me say that. I do I do that to Sophie now, bro. Uh, I don't know. Now, nah, mate, sorry. Not that, bro. I, um, I know a lot about you already, what person you are, who you are. And I know how how go about things in a matter of three months. It wasn't three months, it was only two weeks. But if we do see each other, don't try your thing. It won't work for you at all. Best thing for you is to take her on the chin and say, okay, and be and because better pe better and become a better person because I I did. I was the nastiest person ever. I just basically be getting a lecture to her. There was nothing really wrong. Um, she said it was it what. I wanted anyways, don't want to be there, so I'm happy, and cheers to Sophie, I got what I wanted, fucking bitch, and he texts me, and then, he keeps on going, keeps on going, and then, you know, that's it, oh yeah, uh, Leighton from Chatterton, um, well, near Chatterton, anyway, Chatterton, you know, uh, Alden such sort a of shit, like anyway, I thought Alden was, oh, Jesus Christ, anyway, why you want to scrap girls, you fucking spaz? Um, and then I just basically said all that. I don't read it all. My voice is starting to hurt already. And I've only been talking for a fucking hour. But if you can see that. I don't think you can, you know. How do I. Oh, I have to read it then. Fucking why do I read it? Well, your girls. Obviously, with her boyfriend. That's why it was her boyfriend. That's what I remembered. Uh, well, your girls try to not fight in my house, start shit with other people, and to learn some respect. Also, also I was quiet since she was lying to, with me, but when she's lying, laying hands on others, I do not accept this behaviour in my house. I don't care. Do it outside, not in the house. So, yeah, definitely do not bring my cousin in this, trying to say I raped her, which is false, and be proven by herself, my cousin, by the way, and is now over. And by saying it will make me angry, but don't dare start in my house and harm others. I don't give a fuck what happened. Threatening to fight girls for you, uh, f for you, you fucking muppet. Well, don't say you're gonna stab me. You're, I mean, say, don't, okay, whatever. And threaten me when all I did is put my foot down on her and told her straight. You need to lose some respect for both of you because being like, being like, we'll end up in one place, prison. 
a person. <clears throat> I don't give a fuck what happened. Threatening to fight girls. Oh, sorry, I already said that. You're gonna, to, you're going to fight girls, you dickhead. You're gonna go prison. I teach you some respect. You're fucking quicking. Go on then, mate. But if you really, really wanted, I could be. In. I've told her to learn for for her wrongs, and become a better person. I don't care. I'm gonna move on. She isn't here anymore, so yeah, I don't care. I, I'm gonna carry on with my life. But I will only attack her if she tries to harm me or anyone. I've got better stuff to do than go and look for a girl who has no respect for me, my peers or my staff. Thank you. See ya. Why do why are you keeping screenshotting, cunt? I know where you live, Muppet. Shouldn't be Timbers. I'm fucking terrified. At the time I was, anyway. I was fucking, you know, trembling, being sarcastic. I could not give a fuck. Come to my house, mate. You never did, though. It was too much of a fucking muppet and too much of a fucking bitch that said come to my house. Uh, I don't care, mate. Come to me. I will deal with her and her and my staff will too. And the police will be informed as well. So do what you please. But actions have consequences. You do know your rights and wrongs. So do you Yeah. And what? You will get sent down for threats. Okay. Fucking pussy. Okay. Says the one text. Said the one behind text, lol. You really don't know. You really don't. You really don't know me. That's what I meant to say. You really don't know me, but I know a lot about her. Don't worry, pal. I can't. I can't see you soon now. Fuck off. You do med in with your fucking spazzy text. You never fucking came to see me. And um, that was him. That was his snap. Um. And here we are, fucking coke bottle. Uh, he sent me a fucking can of beer apparently, I don't know why. Uh, but I don't care, I want to talk to you face to face. Don't worry, I'll short out I'll short it out, spicy boy. No, no. You're not you're not allowed out, they're gonna keep you in in a cage. Okay, you're still getting lippy over text. Anyway, who are you and where you're from? How do you know me, AK Jess? And what do you look like? Well I want you to know. Anyway, there's no, there won't be no talking, lad. It's on straight. She's my bird. I live in Cheddarton, faggot boy. Um, okay, well, I feel sorry for you and what you're about to get into, not gonna lie. But, yeah, I'm going to gonna fight. It's, uh, I'm only going to fight if you try to harm me and the police will be invo involved if you try anything. I'm not a snitch. It's just what my staff do. My st I just say to people, police will be involved because the staff always fucking get involved, and the staff will always ring the police, get the support call, whatever it's fucking is. I don't, I don't like the police person. I, I don't want to involved in my shit. If I try anything, I don't play. But I ain't looking for you. Have to come to me since you know where I live. But remember, action has consequences, and you, we do record everything, and it will be used against you. <clears throat> It takes a long. T it takes. It takes a long think. Is it real worth for the girl? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, for a girl who started all this since she started living with me, is it worth it? But my cousin has nothing to do with it, and therefore shouldn't be brought up since it's been proven by her and also um, forgot about three years ago. So choose, mate. I don't care what you do. You please. And he sent me a fucking screenshot of half filers like he didn't know where fucking Chatterton was, but okay. Uh, don't worry, mate, I'll catch you lacking. Okay, mate. Uh, you won't catch me lacking because I don't fucking go out to go anyway. Mate said you were going to fight her, the fuck, and don't don't worry about my mental health. Yes, because she said he was going to stab me and blah, blah, blah. I basically just told her what's, you know, what the text messages were. You promoted her, you dick, and because you're a spice, your eyes ain't even straight. Okay, I don't care. Just move on. She has been removed, and I, I, I hate. I don't care. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, I wish she became better in herself and learned that her threats. It's just me basically saying, you know. Oh yeah, she cried over a pair of milk. She all drank her milk and she cried and started fucking crying and back with uh, Sunny uh, on the unknown de de deadline. She basically started crying to him, which was fucking hilarious, by the way. Uh, I, f I was dying that day. Um, 
hit her for she actually didn't. Um, Sophie didn't hit her first. That's what be honest with you. Mia uh, just hit her first. It was all on CCTV. Um, that's what I said basically, and that da 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 da. Um. Oh yeah, apparently the, the the fight was all over because someone left tampons, and that was another thing. Someone left tampons, but none of the girls used to do that. Pam, uh, it's only it only started occurring when Jess was there. So yeah. Um. She told uh, da, 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 da. your mum left you for assaulting your cousin. Shut up! And she fucking didn't. My mum's still with me to this day. Uh, no, my mum is still with me. Yeah, basically saying you know. I could have went home. Uh, they did say that, but I never did because there's no point. Um, and I put this photo. This was about her, and I still agree to the statement because you know about the whole Bobby situation. I'm about to get onto you, but you know I just want to make sure everything's laid out on the table, and that means the media situation. Um. Oh yeah, Sophie said. This is what Sophie said. I dragged her in my room where there no, was no cameras, but she kept on kissing the door, then bit me and kept pulling my hair, but that's her. She walked off and was OTP, then went, I just had her. Yeah, she had a taste. Hungry, clearly. What are these girls these days? Yeah, fucking ask that yourself. Um, but anyway. Uh... Oh yeah, he changed the uh, the chats to delete immediately, um, which was a thing. Uh, my yeah, this is about where my accounts were about to get banned. It's not the first time. Uh, yeah, my, my content got removed for bullying and harassment uh, on TikTok. And uh, that was just a song. Um, that was nothing. That was nothing. Oh yeah, that it could be restored apparently. Uh, uh, that couldn't be restored either. Oh shit! Okay, this is one of the conversations I have with Bobby. Uh, I ain't got, I ain't got. No, anyway, that's one of the conversations I have with Bobby. So I'm just going to uh, to put, I put because uh, she threw a book at me. She full on threw a book at me. So I put sorry, Bobby. But don't get, don't throw back at me. I won't get physical with you. Ah, yeah. So what happened is this day, she threw a book at me, and I think I kicked her in the ass or somewhere. I don't. I, I think I threw like crap, like you know, kickboxed her. You know when you do kickboxing because I did do M. I did M and A for a bit and I do fighting. So I kicked her, and my feet are not exactly the softest. Um, and Mishek found it out himself, and she found it out because. Also, she used to physically assault me. Uh, she used to punch me uh, all the time, um, no matter what. Of course, that didn't bother me because I didn't really care because I didn't really feel it. But she kept on punching me and physically assaulting me. Uh, that happened. But I don't really care. Um, I'm not asking for a symphony. I, I, I don't really care. If, like, if, if she punches me, oh well. What, 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 I'm not going to punch her back. I, well, I did punch her back a couple of times. Uh, but thing is, punch me, and I used to like cut, do it. Hang on, let's just move this over here. So, uh, what I used to do, this is me actually showing you what I used to do. Let's hope they don't fucking hit the monitors. But what I used to do basically is, she used to like you know do that, and then what I used to go is go bang, you know, bang, you know, start jabbing her, like jabbing her like that. So that's my job, of course. And uh, my job is, you know, not exactly, you know, the weakest job in the world. It is quite a, a powerful job. Um, I put, it says put, it says put, fuck off. I put, okay. Don't want your apology. I put, okay, move. Um, that was just, you know, that's just okay. Let's see, she like, has nothing to do with this. Um. Yeah, so basically, yeah, this is another thing, Insta. Why the f- are you sexist or something? Because you remove the story, but there's that same story that you put up on my screenshot, but put a little bit extra text on there. 
Yeah, it doesn't go against your community guidelines, but for some reason, for me, it does. It makes no fucking sense, but okay. Uh, that was a scene shot of Bobby. Uh, and there's me. We're just doing this filter thing. We did that in the morning, though. Um, she tried to cover my name up, but failed. Because I'm much of a fucking retard she is. She tried to cover my name up, but it didn't work. Oh, this is a joke I made because she was called BJ. I used to call her BJ every now and then. So I saw a car in McDonald's called BJ69 and I just sent it to her. Um, uh, that was that was that was so. That's just text messages. I just go through the text messages to see if there's anything important. So, there's another fucking community guidelines. I think that's, uh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Do you need. Oh, yeah, actually, one of the content did get removed. I didn't realise that. I must have not read it properly, but one of the content did get removed. Um, and then we keep on going. This, this was just, this is just back in Rosendale, uh, Rosendale, Pontville. This there is, he has no involvement in this. Um, oh yeah, Bobby got quite jealous that I was talking to Amy. Um, that happened when Amy said to have a crush on me and all that. She started getting like real, like she used to cut herself. She used to self harm herself, which I don't agree with. Um, if you are self harming, please go to you know helplines and stuff like that to search up like you know suicidal stuff. I promise you, it's not worth it. Please don't like harm yourself or even kill yourself. Um, it's just not worth it. Yeah. So this is Amy, this was the whole screenshot. I'm not going to show you Amy's stuff because there's no point. Um, there you go. That, so this is what got me confused is she basically accused me of, you know, raping her. But she used to post pictures. Her profile picture on her Facebook was of it. That, that was her profile picture. I'm not even joking. That was her profile picture. And you're accusing me of fucking rape. Okay, whatever. Um, this is me supporting Bobby, but I never actually mentioned during this thing, but she was actually quite down because of the whole Amy situation. So she was actually quite, you know, sad and, you know, being a supportive person I was, I actually did love her. I, I, I've been serious, I actually did love her. I full on loved the girl, and to be honest with you, I wish I never. And it's probably why it hurt me so much. Um, but see, that's just me showing her, showing her some support and some love, um, saying that everything will get better. Um, and then just keep on going. I know that doesn't mean anything, but I'm just gonna show you that. This is, you know, I think I was. Oh yeah, that's me pulling people on my private story. So yeah, I did I put them on my private story. Um Yeah, that was everyone that was on my private story. I'm sorry if you can't see it but my camera's a little bit blurry. Um Just give me a second, sorry mate. Um I think that was just, yeah, that's all my mum did stuff. Um, oh, yeah. The whole Tegan thing happened too, because Tegan, you know, I fell out of her at the time. Uh, also, uh, I'm gone. Oh, this is her nails. She literally just talk about her nails there because I was showing her. She, she likes nails, so. 
Um, I was asking, you know, Kira, where she got the nails from. Uh, you've been going. I don't know who that was, to be honest with you. Uh, situation shit. Uh, fucking a picture of Sienna for whatever reason. Um, That's my snap back then. Bobby was at the top. I think I pinned Bobby at one time. Uh, uh, Tegan just saying that she doesn't like me, and, you know. Basically, basically being a you know a bitch, but you know uh, that did upset me a little bit. But oh well. Uh, this happened to someone, someone called Soph, that was a different Soph though, wasn't the same Soph I don't think, well I definitely know, but started like talking really sexual to me which I didn't really like. Um, Bobby said all this, she probably have some dog anyway, oh bless you. Uh, get some co better combats, like Sophie you think that I have had sex with you. I'm gonna have my whole career da, 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 making you two. Listen, you're 14, try to add you a 17 year old. You're gonna get killed, mate. Uh, oi, you little scruff. Don't hey me, hey babe me. Why are you sending sexual messages to my brother? I should have took that as a warning sign, too. Never did, though. I never thought that was a warning sign. Never did. He told you he don't swing that way. You freak. How? She'll talk with your sad, you know, she deleted it, but, she didn't delete, not, not Bobby, Bobby didn't, none of these sex messages were deleted for Bobby, but she left the group chat and of course Snapchat deletes people's messages when they leave the group chat, but pathetic. Don't try and chat shit to me, got now to say, now have you those scruff, bitch. You're a fucking bitch, Bobby, so you need to know what you're chatting. Mate, I would never force someone to talk sexually to me, first of all, and second, I'm not even sexual at all. I'm actually not that sexual, just that. We won't get to that in a minute. Um, I don't even know you, mate, so don't lie. Oh, yeah. Uh, that what happened. That was just a thingy. Ethan, that happened to the whole Ethan thing. He came into my, my DMs one day. Um, yeah, it's just he was just Bobby ripping into him because he's sending dick bits. I actually made a video very recently, actually. Um, that was just a family situation. I'm not going to say my family situation. That's that's very private. Um, Yeah, people were people sending me child porn, and I didn't really like that, so if you actually are going to text me, please don't send me child porn, fucking hell. Um, but yeah, people, people just, just fucking pathetic. Um, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just Tyler. Oh, yeah, it's Tyler being Tyler, my cousin. My, 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 my other cousin. Um, there was rats in my house too that happened, but we tried to get that sorted out with fucking my uncle again. Changed the deleting. I don't know why I screenshotted that. Um, I, the whole, this all happened too with these kids. I don't know why in Bristol. Um, your actual nonce, your double at age, almost weird. I, I was actually 17, which means I was a minor. So it wasn't that weird, uh, in my opinion. I, I don't remember being weird. I wasn't even talking to them. I was just replying to what they were talking about me. When they were having a normal conversation, I just didn't care what they were talking about. But every time they mentioned me, that's why I went. That's why I replied to them. Uh, which wasn't a dumb, but you know, it was fun. 
Um, yeah, it's just a Bristol thing. I, I don't know if I want to go through it, really. It's just basically me arguing some kids. I think Bobby got involved. I did add Bobby to the group chat. Um, we're keeping going. We're keeping going. 7th of October, yeah. When, that's around about the uh, abandoned buildings time, when we're exploring abandoned buildings. Um, me going through, you know, the SNAP guidelines. Apparently they were following me races when I wasn't. Um, uh, there's a person called Sam in the group chat that was uh, basically uh, his dad was a police officer, so I called the I called his dad a pig because you know I uh, uh, because I wanted to piss him off. Uh, okay, no proof, no picture of Bob. I don't know why I need. I don't really. The thing is with me, I don't actually go through my phone. I just kind of keep everything. Oh yeah. They actually found a profile. That was a Facebook profile. You see, in fact, if I can try and zoom in, if uh, if if I can get a better screenshot, I'll show it later. But that's if I can find one though. But you see, it was her profile picture, uh, on Facebook. Um, that's another situation with my fucking mum. That's there was a solely situation happening that happened. Oh yeah, I commented this on her Facebook. Uh, I put, "Ayo, BJB boy is simping or, uh, simping eh? Must be them filters you have on. Laughing face, laughing face." Yeah, to be honest you, I did agree with this because this happened at the uh, time. Um, society, everything's fine, and the whole fucking house is burning around you. Uh, Ollie, I uh, hope you kill yourself. Me too. Can you help? I would love you to torture me. I, I just try and say that just because I I don't know. I just I do just because I literally don't give a fuck anymore. I stop caring. Nah, that's a fucking nonce. There was no kinky shit in that. I, I wasn't asking to fucking be kinky. Um. Um. He kept saying he was 14 and 12 and then 16. His age kept on Mitch and matching. He kept saying, I'm 14. I'm 16. <laughs> That's what Sam said. He kept on saying it. I'm sorry if his screenshots are very blurry. And then another thing happened with on, on Twitch um, that happened. There was like fucking loads of stuff happening. There was tons of fucking stuff. The Mia, the Mia situation, the fucking Tiana situation was happening. Uh, what else? What else happened? Fucking the Sam, the group chat situation was happening in Snap. About like 20 people, about 5 people, 5 groups of people on me at one time. That was so much fucking stress. Um, and yeah, because I got, it kept them fucking pissing me off, man. I think they're putting stories like this, if you notice. If you haven't actually, like, where my stories anyway. Oh yeah, Bobby Joe got hacked and I tried to support her. Me trying to support Bobby again, trying to find out, but I actually didn't know if Bobby playing around with me or actually was someone hacked. Um, apparently, he, 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 I asked him what did Bobby do to you, and he, 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 well, he or she said ruined life. Um, Tori, that happened. Well, that happened way before me checking Bobby, so there's nothing there. Um, that was her snap. That was her snap. That was Bobby's snap. Um. Oh yeah, the whole Kira, the not the Kira that I'm talking about. Not not you, Kira. Another Kira, uh, in a group chat with Charlie Cunningham and you know Charlie and Lennon and all like lemon size basically. Um. That happened, or like dissing me and stuff like that. Uh, that happened. Um, but I don't really care. Um, when the same situation still happening, and then me doing that art thing with people, and the Bobby, and then the fucking, and and those screenshot with the whole t uh, Tiana situation. Um, I 
happened. And it was just me, Andrew, and with a a curious draw, which I screenshotted that for a reason. I don't know why. I'm literally going through everything. Right, this is me. Well, this is an awful photo of her because I was editing. But that was probably I was actually making into a cartoon by a program. Uh, there you go. You see, I made that. It's still up to this day, but I changed some of the stuff. There's probably as a monkey. Um, I'm actually gonna try and get my hair like that soon. That's a new video that's gonna come up. But yeah, that happened. To be honest with you, that happened a long time ago when we didn't do this fell out because of Kobe. But that was before any anyway, before that. Um. That was just a funny post I saw. I don't know what happened there. No, was yeah. It okay. Let me just open. Ah, okay. I put why okay. I'll jump off a cliff blah, 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 because I'm going to use it. For the twelfth, sweet, I will. I don't know why I said that. Oh, okay. At least you wasn't ass pick. At least you wasn't an ass pick because I would have blocked you. Sweet, I will. What do you mean twelfth? What is twelfth backwards? If you're smart, you will get it. Idiot. Did you get it? I love how dumb you are. Yes, it's pretty dumb to say no. Bobby was fucking retired. So it's actually a full on fucking retard. Uh content content got removed again. Tiana I don't know who his Miles is. I wasn't nineteen at the time, I was actually seventeen, so um yeah, Miles, Miles. About the Sam situation and then Mia had a boy, um a child, which I'm not going to show the child, of course, because that's private reasons. There's some stuff I don't want to fucking show. The Tiana is still going on. The Tiana situation was going on for a while. Tiana, 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 Tiana. The Tiana was fucking pissing me off. Uh, the my, That wasn't me, but, you know. Uh, that's where I first started the Kirk Oak channel. Um, I made Bobby as the banner once on my Kirk Oak. That's what my Kirk Oak channel looked like. Fucking the Kira thing happened, not the Kira from next door, another Kira. And keeps on going, keep on going, and that's when my, you know, the, uh, what is it? What they call it again? The raps. The raps on Spotify. Just basically doing how many views I have and how many playlists I had this year and whether other similar things I have and then I've uploaded a video. We're keeping going, we're keeping going, we're keeping going, we're keeping going. Um Oh yeah, that's just a me shit situation. Of course I'm just gonna try and blur the name out, blurring the the phone number out so hopefully it doesn't reveal but that that's the whole me shit situation. Another screenshot of Bobby. Uh Bobby saying get to bed, you derv. That's a story. So legit said put that as uh, a story. Um another picture of me and Bobby together. And then Keep him going. Try to find the good stuff. I'll probably do a video on this. Oh yeah, these are all Bobby's photos that I took for her picture. Uh that is still on my channel to this day. But there's all the screenshot, that's her mum. That's us and Tiana. And of course, you know. Uh, what's this? Right, that was just the thingy. Um, that was also another thing. The Kira thing was going on still. Um, we're England playing World Cup. The world's scariest fucking screenshot of me. That's terrifying. 
Oh yeah, that's when, you know, it was like minus one in Oldham. So it's fucking freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's when fence won. That's when I was uploading the other two videos. And then the skill got M, which still commented on my things to this day. Don't know what she tried to prove there with this, that screenshot. And then that's when the uh, Jaden Vickers started coming up, where uh, called Smeg 2.0. That actually added me. You know, this is my nan. They're saying they're gonna kill my nan. Uh, I stood on un uh, Bobby's underwear and basically I said, that's what I sent, uh, Bobby Joe Brown. This is round about the time, now we're getting to the time where, you know, when the whole rape happened. So we're keeping going, we're keeping going. Oh yeah, that's when, you know, it got to minus fucking six. That's the time when it got to minus six. Oh fuck, it's fine, whatever. Um, so she sent a picture of me, that was Bobby, sent a picture of me with Kate, um, you know, a picture of me and Bobby, that's a cute picture, uh, it's a good picture that one, me and her in the bedroom, and I don't know if this was the time when I knew Kate was my second cousin or not, but, you know, um, I don't know. Someone put has to Kyrgyz in one of my things. That that was an old photo. These photos are on my Insta to this day. Peanut butter interview. You know. I don't know what that's going to prove. I don't know why I screenshotted that to be honest with Um. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Oh yeah, that's when my video got striped on Kurgo for whatever reason, I don't know. Oh yeah, I made Bobby as my background one time. Maybe and her as background, which I've now changed. Um let me see. Okay. Now we're getting to the juicy part where me and Bobby were actually going through everything that happened. Now, I'm going to go through every single text message. Um, uh, of course, there's some stuff that might be left out. I don't know. I haven't read these text messages now fully. Um, because I haven't read them for a while. So, this is going to be a fucking blast of the past. Okay, I'm going to start from the top. Where the fuck is the top, though? Is that from here? Ah, right, okay. Right, okay, this is the stuff that, you know, happened. And I need to put these screenshots in a fucking thingy. I put, Bobby, I'm sorry, I was only trying to be funny, not trying to make, to make, un make you uncomfortable, as I respect that, so I'm sorry. And a, a picture of a screenshot. And then put, that's wank, that's wank, made me, made for sleep, lol, you still awake, yeah man, what are you doing, you gone back to sleep, yeah, bro, I'm dead, I've got an office ban for six weeks, so yeah, fair enough, I guess. It's all going to be mixed up, isn't it? Uh, having an off band into that band, what you ring me for to sing that lol safe. What are you doing anyway, B? 
I said B, not in like Babe. B wasn't meant to be Babe. It was meant to be Bobby. So just so you know, I didn't put B for Babe, uh, for your preference. I'm fuming, so blasting music. I'm fuming, so blasting music on my TV. Listen to my earphones. Why? What's up? Who pissed you off? It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay, I don't know what to do. What does what what does what I put? You see, you know what W W T D means. So I just put what to do. Basically, just make it more fucking simple first, because there's too much of a fucking retard that's they understand. Oh, mad! You got your door open? Yeah, because I'm downstairs. Um, send me the fucking APL. Good morning, BJ. Yo, BJ, the new girl here. Just to let you know. BJ, who's this number? Bobby, turn the fucking music down. Next door, it's ten. At the blah blah blah. blah. BJ, 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 BJ. What does BJ stand for? What are you saying BJ for? To the bastard music, bro. For fuck's sake, man. The baby's next door. Wasn't me. Yeah, it's both of you, bro. Okay, mate. What you say, XX? Nothing. Okay, what are you doing, XX? Nothing. Um, What's up, mush? I don't know what mush means. I don't know if that's meant to be, you know, a thing. So I'm actually going to search it up really quickly. Uh, I might need to get my plug, though. Because my phone's about to die. So, I'm going to have to get a plug. Um, of course. I'm a fucking retard. It's not about to die. It's because of screenshots. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, okay, what? I got what does mush mean? Um, urban dictionary. Urban dictionary. Urban, not urban. And uh, unpopular. What does mush mean? Give me a second. Oh, fuck. One page. That's not fucking urban dictionary. Mush. Okay. An old randy word meaning my good friend. Ah. So it's technically saying my, what's up my good friend. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm so fucking bored, bro. And then I sent a fucking put a picture of me um, looking like I'm about to fucking kill her. <laughs> I'm so fucking bored. What does what the fuck does mush mean? I don't. It's so fucking messed up. Okay, thirteenth. First of December. Thirteenth of December. Thirteenth of December. Okay. I'm bored, not gonna lie. Bobby, what are you doing, XX? You gonna sleep B? Meaning Bobby just say no. Uh no, what's on FaceTime, bro? Alright, sound. Hit her from the back. Screening on the tr screening out no mass. Just like that's a, a fucking reference to uh, Rockstar. Uh, by Post Malone. Shut up. Uh, so put these for push sure pap anyway put morning beat at sets so put morning I put morning I'm out so you won't be you won't see me into about three hours I'm going picking my cousin from uni uh hi Carmine what what you need do you know how to change the light bulb yes when I clean my room will you change it for me please that's meant to say for me oh yeah Okay, sure. Let me clean my room first. I'll come to you now. No, nah, not yet. I'm moving my bed first. I'll help you, etc. Et, et. I did that to go to room and to put. I put. Uh, I can do it, you know. I just need to my bowl cl uh, when I cleaned it. It's a bad mess. Her, her fucking bedroom is the smell of fucking onions. It was so bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll help you clean it. Just not touching your unities. My what? Nitties. What's that? And I sent a fucking picture of underwear. So, meaning underwear. Um, go get me two bag, uh, black bags, please. It's uh, called Nikus or underwear, mate. 
Well, I know I'm I'm being clean. I don't want uh, I don't like saying that I'm not dirty like with a bo a seven body count bro. X X X. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's fucking a little bit slaggy, a little bit. I I, I sort of knew that from the start, but okay, whatever. Yes, it's my mum and my dad is one, and my nan is like two, and my nan is one. And most girls I talk to are like two or three. You're the highest girl I talk to. That's a bad thing then. Well, yes. Think about how many k, how big your cave must be, bro. And it's, you know what? You would expect someone to go, "Come on, I don't like that. It's a little bit uncomfortable." But okay, we'll, ca we'll carry on anyway. It's not that big. Well, it's tight. She put shut up. Um, laughing face. Well, I put laughing face. He didn't put a laughing face. We're not having this conversation. Low, only three inches can go in. Low. I took a nine inch before, mate. Bro, you sure that wasn't a pull when you pissed? No, you dickhead. Yeah, definitely. Nah. You could. Ha you 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 could haven't mind then, since you can, you only can take three inch. No, Lewis. That's why you blocked you. That's why you blocked you. <laughs> Not really, mate. Then both of yours. Um, oh no, not really t t took bigger than both of yours, so shut up. Go t go to your new crush, yeah? I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely my crush. She's not my type, bro, and she's taken. I wouldn't even try it. So, but fuck off. To be honest, if I have a choice, and you two was the only woman on earth I would take, neither I would take the third, which is hang myself, fuck that, I'd rather marry or get with my PC, but to be honest, when I w can be asked to talk to, I'm gonna link some things, because it's been three years, yeah, little side hunt she means, by things, maybe, maybe, not you, you, but not you, we'll never know the real old deal, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, G. I might just go and see F D. Forget the F typo low. I might go see Bid D. Who's Bid D? Bid D, yeah. Ah, Declan. That sounded a bit gay. That I I wasn't like linking into you know to like you know I'm not gay. I was just gonna see him for a bit. That sounded weird. But you gonna sleep? Nah, I'm bu I I'm busting. Oh right. Why? You disturbing me, bro? Please, can you do my light? Or oh, shall I ask ha uh, Hassan? Oh, her name, her name, sorry. Her name, Nenny. Nah, I do, I, I, I'll do, let me have a wank for fuck's sake, man. Okay, leave my light, I'm going to get it done tomorrow. I'm off to bed. Okay, I'm going to do it now. It will take me two seconds to do, G. She wants you to ask you something about night. What she wants to ask me, it's too late, bro. Go back to sleep then. She said, come here. Yeah, why though? Even tell me, I'll just go because I see behavior games, bro. It sits in the bastard morning. Let's not say five or five, posh five. It's not me, geez, chill. Okay, it's emergency. Is it emergency? Send me voice messages. Bobby, come down now, please. Mate, I ain't obsessed with your ass, mate, BJ. I can hear your loud mouth, bro. Said, haha, said so, you hear it. Uh, yes, B, XX, you okay? Yeah, XX, you would be, yeah. Why would you XXX? You want to talk XXX? I'm just having a down day. We all do XX. Well, we know I'm here. Uh, well, you know I'm here. Even when you, even when you leave, I'll still be here for you. Thanks, appreciate it. I'm fucking not here for you anymore, bitch. Uh, not after what happened. Um, you alright? Uh, yeah, XXU. Yeah, thanks. I'm just about to go out. Just as you text, lol. Uh, bye. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, mad. What are you doing? Just an important call. K, K. Right, B. I'm going to go to bed. Love you. Good night. Knock on my door if you need me or anything. XXXXX. 
Oh, being cute saying love you. Aha, uh -huh, nah, I'm joking. I'll be fine. Uh, but night sleep, love you. Uh, well, as soon as you say that, you too. Etc. Et, et, you're probably going to be in my dream like most of the time. Oh, uh, and dream about what? Well, most of the time it's just chilling together, etc. Et. But you seem to always end up in then one way or another, which means you're always in my head. You have Chasey to chill with now, and a new girl tomorrow. Don't think about me then. I mean, it's not that fucking easy. You're not all lying, especially when you like when you fucking love and support a girl that you really do love. It's my first heartbroken, to be honest, I think. I think it's actually my first heartbroken. Um, um, you get along with her, though, so you can have a bond like ours with her. Now, I'd rather be chilling with you. It's, it's, it's nothing against states. She's a lovely girl. And her BS isn't a prick either. Neither. They're both going to be good parents. To be honest with you, in my opinion. They're a little bit too young for parents. But I can't really talk when one had me when she was 17. Yeah, I do, but... She's not a cunt like Jess. Yeah, so you can chill with her. I'm going to watch my film. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. But, you know... But you better no leave me. Because you, when you leave, what do you mean? When you leave here, like, get your own place. You better not leave me, etc. Et. I don't think I could go. I don't think I could let you go that easily, not gonna lie, bro. Oh, bless. I'll still come and see you and speak to you. Go sleep. I'm going, mums. What? Never mind, good night. Morning, B. <laughs> that's, that, was a, that was the whole night. Morning, B. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hey, B. Uh, by Bobby, just saying. I just need to remind everyone that B means fucking Bobby. The new girl is here, G. Just so it's not as shock. Etc. Etc. Et. Mate, I'm going to bed to a new girl. Uh, to a new girl. Don't just uh, to a new girl. Do not disturb me or Faisal into the morning unless it's an emergency because I'm, f I'm being fu I'm fucking. I've been fucking up and down the bastard stairs all day, bro. So yeah, love you. Good night, DJ. Night, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji, morning, heart emoji. Bobby, I'll be back, etc, etc. BJ, when I'm taking a bath, I look like, I look in the mirror and my body is like a dead skeleton bro. And I sent her a picture of me in my underwear because I literally, I was pretty much losing weight. Uh, not much though, not as much after the whole stress and then that's when I really lost fucking weight. Um, she put haha, I put lol. But I don't care, I've got six in sticks, so yeah, fuck it. Uh, oh yeah, she kept on, I don't know why, but she kept on showing her ass to me. And kept on talk, like, she kept on showing her ass to me, so I put, Thanks Bobby, you bitch, for giving me a hide on. How? I don't know, bro. Pete's for you. My penis has its own mind, to be honest, I swear to God, and it pisses me off. As it not only, it hurts, it's a fucking mission to get rid of. I think boys can relate to this. Bless. F you. Not that way. When I said F you, I didn't mean like fuck you. I didn't want to fuck her. Uh, laughing face, laughing face. What are you doing anyway? Um, now, mate. Why do you wear clothes where I can see your crap, bro? She actually did. She used to wear clothes where you could see your ass. Um, don't wear them for you. Lol. Anyway. Come, come here now. Answer BJ. BJ, this is Sunday. Um, at three in the morning. BJ, what are you doing? BJ, huh? I need you to help. Have Have you just run me? Nah, why? I don't know, mate. D but do you not mind doing something for me? What? Oh my god. Well, basically, don't tell no one, but please, I want to see your ass pits are just interested, as your ass is so good to look at, I'm not going to lie. What are you doing, BJ? Where are you? In bed. Never mind. Forget that one. I'm being horny, bitch. I'm going to kick off. Wow, what's happening? Long story. You want to come to my room to talk? Uh, she came to my room, I think. Come on the landing. 
Go on. Morning B gets it sets. Is this is you for you not gonna lie? Um it was just a video and it's a but video's just black so I can't actually tell it's like fully done. Um I just realised the mic's in the way so let me just let me just There we go, mate. <clears throat> Ring me and not speaking who I'm going to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Um she told me to delete these messages, so just to let you know, I can't actually read the messages because she told me to delete them, which I think was her, her whole plan to actually, you know, trap me and, you know, yeah, yeah I'm going to knock off. She never did. Why? He ran me. Ringing me and not speaking who. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, she said delete them. There you go. Told you. There was a message just saying, like, oh, I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, be a little bit sexual and be horny. She said delete them. I think I don't think she wanted the staff to know or anyone to know. So okay, but all that also set me up one or two. And uh, did uh, don't feel uncomfortable as I'm not a rapist or ever will be. Okay, I'm too tired for this conversation. I will not do anything if you don't like. But good night, etc. Night. Okay, love you. I chill with you. I will chill you tomorrow. That's what I meant. But you know I won't try to touch you. As you, t mm. turn my phone off to charge it. See you tomorrow. Mm. What does mm. I can't tell over text. Uh, get some sleep. I know you have a boyfriend. Never mind. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is but. Never mind. Okay, sorry. It's sweet. I'm just coming. I'm just coming clean. Just like, you know, she deleted that message, so I will never know what my message was about. Um. <clears throat> um. And then we went on FaceTime, and there's actually zero proof. I mean, like, legit zero. Like, zero. I think she framed me, in my opinion. But there's zero proof of her saying come to my bedroom let's watch the movie together so that's what i did um i went to her room and watched the movie and then after the whole ordeal happened about f about 407 so it happened at about two to three o'clock in the morning when i was like fingering her and touching her and you know she was touching me she was wanking me off and everything um we neither did in course or anything like that but basically Four o'clock in the morning, an hour after it all happened, she randomly just texts me saying, "What the fuck happened?" I just have bare flashbacks to explain about what. Just tell me what happened. I came to you. I, I'm on Facetime. Well, you fell. Oh yeah. Well, you fell asleep on me, so I left your room. Don't lie to me. Oh yeah. So she wasn't fully asleep. You know, I did say yeah. You fell asleep. She was half asleep, but she was still talking to me. So I was very confused. I can't lie. This whole situation fucking confused the whole shit out of me. Um, well, you fell asleep on me. Wait, she didn't actually fall asleep. She was just like half dead, but she, I, I thought she fell asleep. So I tried to leave. And then she woke up and told me like to stay in her room, which I said, no, you've made, you, you're about to fall asleep. I'll let you go. And then, yeah, um, I said, but because you were touching your pussy and you're getting me, you're getting very touchy. See, that's the worst. You're legit like, as I was trying to get up, she was trying to hug me more. Um, like she actually put her hand around my body and put her legs. So I'm gonna I see if I can recreate this uh, somehow. So if you're in bed, you know how to spoon. That's what was happening. We were spooning each other. And she's never said anything about that. We were spearing each other. And her leg was like. Over me like that kind of. If you get what I mean. Like that's what. Ah. Fucking microphone. Oh fuck man. I just whacked my nose with a fucking microphone. Anyway. Basically that's what happened. And. I put. Basically I just told her what happened. Um. I went the wrong way. I put, I put, okay, whatever. I put, why? I'm so confused, mate. Delete this chat. Why? Delete it. Honestly, just tell me what happened. What, what happened? Uh, text or person. Don't like, try and lie. 
you were touching your pussy, you maybe had a hard on, but you tried to. Oh, yeah. She fell asleep, and then I woke up, and they said, Oh, mate, it was all fucking mad. My brain was all over the fucking place. Bro, this was all mad. This is actually mad. You didn't respond and you snored. Come here and say that then. Okay, what do you mean by flash brain? And loads of messages I deleted. I deleted loads of messages. I think, I don't know why. Yeah, deleted message, deleted message. Morning, buddy, what do you mean tonight? It says, yo, Bobby, I found this. And then, you know, Keevan Smith. And then the rest of it was just a normal conversation again. I think I don't have to prove anymore. It's just I've put it, me promoting myself. Me with a camera roll. Ah, alright, okay. Uh, there's a lot on there. I'm probably going to do it clear out. i do it clear out and do it. I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, this is the time where she never told me before what happening and she told me afterwards. So, this was on, well, it said yesterday. So, yesterday. When was yesterday? So, hang on. Fucking, I have to do it dates now it doesn't tell you the dates it generally doesn't tell you the dates it just saying yesterday and that could be any fucking day of the year so that was last year though and basically as she said i told you i've got a boyfriend and seen you as a mate and please don't repeat anything that happened last night though and it did feel uncomfortable but the thing is he never fucking told me that and if he told me that then i would have done nothing and it was just in the moment, it was all like, you know, in the moment I was spewing her, she was touching her pussy and stuff like that, and touching her, you know, herself, she was touching me, blah, 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 she was half asleep, half not asleep, I was half asleep, not asleep, it was just in the moment, and basically, it was all, that's what I mean, consensual, because, like, if you felt uncomfortable, you would tell me to get out your room, which I did try to do, but you just stopped me from getting out your room, so I don't know. I told you I've got a boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. I, but, you, but Bobby, I don't really care. I, I, I do, I don't really care. That's what I did fucking, but I put, I do really care. I meant to, I, I actually did say that to say no, I, just saying, I, I didn't actually say don't. Don't was in there. I do really care and love you very much. I promise you, and I promise you that I would never, I would, I would not hurt you in any way. I you try my highest to make you feel better, even though I do love you. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't you do to as much, but it's a matter as I got my YouTube and the first, first time on pro props, not last, I'm going to, I know you have a boyfriend, but it's, what? First, okay, not the first time on, not the first time on props, not the last, and I, I know you have a boyfriend, it's okay, I guess, I would do anything, I I would, uh, I would, oh, I'll put wood. I wouldn't do anything again as I gather you don't like it, but that's fine, I guess. To be honest, I stop caring about myself anymore. I move, I, I'm, I'm more bothered about other people as I don't, I don't care if I die or get hurt as long as other people are not getting hurt. Not gonna lie, last night I had bare flashbacks and my past, so my head's fucked at the moment. Whether, 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 mate, you, you never fucking told me that. Uh, you, you, you legit never told me any of this. So how the fuck am I meant to know? It's like the Tiana situation when she didn't tell me until afterwards after she was copyright striking me. Like, women, please, can you tell me if you don't like it or you feel uncomfortable with the way I'm acting? Fucking tell me for fuck's sake. Anyway, yeah, I gathered that, mate. That's why. Uh. Oh yeah, I started blaming myself. Like I legit blamed it all on me. And as I look back into now, think about it. It was just a neutral agreement. Like 
there was no rape or anything because I don't know why I felt bad. I, I started saying... Yeah, I basically said to her, oh, you can do what you want now, do what you please, go to the police, blah, 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 blah. I basically, you know, fucked myself because I, I don't know, I just, I'm one of the guys that, like, you know, I, I when I get accused of rape or someone feels uncomfortable or feels hurt with me, I get so down, I feel so bad, and I'm like, fuck. I actually feel very really bad, but when people don't tell me beforehand, then it makes me even worse because I'm like, fuck, I didn't actually mean to do that. And when that happened, I knew I fucked up, and I knew, fuck. But not just that, it's all fucked because, please tell me for fuck's sake, like, it does matter when people, when, when, it's like recently when people are not, when I saw people on my videos and showing what kind of work I've done, People don't say they're interested and they start going to their phones and not really paying attention to the video and not paying attention to what the video's saying and then going back going, eh, what's what's going on? Mate, just say you're not interested. Like, use your mouth. Like, people in society, they're good enough to fucking talk in real, like, you know, online and trash talking, keyboard warrior shit. But guess what? You, no one's good enough to fucking say it in people's faces. Mate, Stop, everyone needs to stop being a bitch. The only people that ain't a bitch, even the USC fighters, they're kind of like a bitch, really. Not fully, but it's all online. Online social media, all this shite, it's fucked us all up. And in my opinion, I don't believe in social media. I know I do YouTube, it's just because that's the only thing I can do because I have no mates to go out with. I have no one around me, and it's just a thing I don't have. Also, you might be thinking, can I, why are you not crying about all this? Mate, I've legit gone past the time of crying. I've been hurt that many times and feel so mentally exhausted that I generally don't cry anymore. And it, it seems as me being a psycho, which I'm not. It's just I generally do care and love people. But when I play the nice guy, people just foot back in my fucking face. And it really pisses me off. It's just stupid. I'm trying not to shout because it's like currently fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. But that's the whole thing. Like, people don't tell me. Just tell me, please. Like, generally, just please tell me. I will actually listen as much as possible. But when you're not telling me before or while it's happening, how the fuck am I meant to know? I know. I'm not a fucking mind reader. I'm not that game. What's that game called that, like, can guess his, guess his YouTubers and celebrities? I'm not that, you know. I'm not Houdini, you know. I, I can't do all that shit. It's not something I can do. So, but, but if you know you're scared, yes. So, if you didn't know about this, yes, I was trying to go out my comfort zone with you. But you just kind of never told me. And not only you felt uncomfortable, I felt uncomfortable the whole fucking way through. I hated it. To be honest with you, it was the worst fucking time I had and the worst sexual experience I had. I fucking hated it. Support, I was, I support, repeat your, uh, why would you repeat your past by doing, what do you mean repeat my past? Repeat my past, I've never ever touched anyone and you're probably the first kind of person that I physically touched. Now, I did touch someone else before. Uh, no girl. That was Max's girlfriend at the time. Um, and that was called Chloe. And that was a whole situation. That happened right about the cousin situation. So, that was just bad timing. And that, we never correlated each other. But that was all the bad timing. And that's why now i probably got a phobia. And, of course, a phobia you can't down nose. But I am terrified of women going near me to this day. I am absolutely petrified talking to women and also getting close to women i can't do it i'm terrified i'm absolutely terrified right now of like go near women i'm actually really terrified like there, there's three phobias i don't say this to my parents to my parents and to professionals i say there's two phobias i have but you actually want to know my whole phobia i have three or maybe four or five i have a lot so so, but, um, while I was asleep, you wasn't asleep, you are talking to me. Now, you can say that I was sleep-talking. Now, 
me being at a sleepover in my nan's house a lot, a lot of times. My nan used to sleep over, and if you want me to, I'll get you a video of a sleep, uh, a sleep thingy, um, which I actually will do after this text message. Was well, right, I sex abuse as a kid, and last night brought all them flashbacks back in my head after I tried to forget and rebuild my life, and only asked what happened because I felt weird. You told me afterwards. You could have told me before. Or while it's happening, you're, you're a fucking idiot. But anyway, talk about you being asleep, which it wasn't. You were fully talking to me and also stopped me from leaving the room. Fully stopped me from leaving the room. Now, I could have just left anyway, but you used your, your pussy power, your, your coochie power to fucking stop me, which worked. And if I was a third person, I would definitely go, Oi, Caroline, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Caroline, you fucking knob. You know, I would have done that, but once again, I have no third person. I'm currently fucking that. But if you watch, okay. Okay, I'm trying to find a sleep talking video. I'll try to find a sleep talking video here. It's going to be very hard to find one, but. This is sleep talking. Recording every time it hears noise throughout the night, so I was like, Oh my god, like, I need to do this. Why? Like, I just, I just quit out of it. That's so sad. Right, okay, that's not what my nan used to do, but it was very similar. Of course, I don't know if this is real or fake, and as you can't see the person on screen, as you can see, it's a black screen, so it's not real form proof. But you get the point though, like, she was, she was morning, don't get me wrong, she was fucking, you know, morning, but it wasn't that morning that she felt uncomfortable. She never tried to move her hand from her pants, for her, like, coochie area. She never tried to move her hand. She just actually touched my dick too and wanking me off, uh, which I calmed all of her bed. It's not really a fucking scene I want to make out, but, I mean, fully, and, like, it's just a thing that didn't happen. She was fully... Either, she was, I say she was awake, but not awake. You know when you are daisy, but that makes no excuse because not only that, I was fucking daisy. If I could actually, if I could record that what happened that night, then I would have showed you everything. Um, but once again, I can't because I didn't record it. Because surprisingly, I am not a fucking weirdo. Okay, uh, you could probably say that no, you wouldn't call you raping someone, but I generally. I did not rape her at all. It's not a thing I would never do. And I think it's completely against my own respect. Um, also, if I really didn't care about this whole situation, I would not be making a two-hour video talking about the whole fucking situation. I wouldn't. I just couldn't give a fuck. I would just move on from my life. But, you know what? It has really affected me because I really did love this fucking girl. But clearly... She didn't love me. I put. I think what. I think I know why you got flashbacks. I do. I do remind you of someone. Please. You do. You, you do. You remind. Okay. Basically, say, do I remind you of someone? And basically, I'm trying to get through her head. But she said, this is also no piece of evidence that I don't have. She kept to saying that she didn't know what happened, but she kept to saying, but I know what happened. She kept. To, she told me more details of what happened, which I think is here. Um, right, shite. Well, even way, I don't care what happened to me. I literally just put the whole blame on me at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I just want to know what went through your head. Yeah, I was horny and you fucking didn't help. That's what happened, mate. I was horny and you decided to make me fucking worse by having your ass out, having your underwear, talking to me. You know, not fully sexual, but talking to me and asking me to go to your bedroom and watch a movie with you. And also spooning me, putting your leg over me and cuddling me. Like, don't ask me, like, saying I, you felt uncomfortable. Mate, I felt uncomfortable. In fact, I was being sick. To be honest with you, I even said to you I was going to the toilet. I went to the toilet to be sick, to say, you know, because anxiety was through the fucking roof. Right? I was shitting myself thinking, because the whole cushion, not the cushion situation, 
Well, that's, yeah, the close, closest situation, not just that, because I never touched my cousin. That never happened. But I did touch you, though. And that was consensual. You never told me once that you felt uncomfortable. You would never sleep. You was half asleep and half awake like I was. And not just that, I was sick in the toilet because of my anxiety, because I have a phobia of, you know, sexual stuff because of the Chloe situation, the cousin situation. It was terrifying, that situation, I promise you. So, of course, I was a little bit scared, and you didn't fucking help. And you didn't let me leave. You kept on manipulating me into staying into your room. But you framed me a little bit too by telling me to delete the messages so you can make the story more believable on your end. No. Um. Feels like my head is go always going on the go, even when I'm asleep. It feels like I've been brought in your in the torture of the other nine of voices and seeing that happen. Don't know. I don't know what you mean. I don't understand. Of course, you won't understand because you don't give a fuck. That's why. But I, of course, I can't really say because you know you generally couldn't. You might not. You know. I don't fucking know. Oh my fucking god. Mate, why don't I do this video at 3 o'clock in the morning? I should not do this video at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's fucking stupid. I do this when I'm really tired, you know. Um, why do you think I don't stand there with a blanket session? Uh, blah, 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 this is confusing me. Yeah, you were confusing me when you're saying that you, you're sexually abused and all that. And you're saying you felt uncomfortable when I felt uncomfortable at the same fucking time. But once again, you never told me. Uh... I was just trying to step out my own comfort zone. It's a very weird... This conversation... This... This fucking... This whole situation is fucked. Um... See, but... You do know that class of sexual abuse, though, in it. No, it isn't. You can't classify that as sexual abuse when you're the one egging it on. Like, you could have said... Oh, well... Mate, my fucking head is spinning right now. <laughs> she put, for touch me while I was asleep. Wait a second, you literally said that you didn't fucking know, but clearly you did. I don't say I was trying to, uh, I didn't say I was trying to do anything. Um, and I just basically, it, it, the, the video's out, the, uh, that, um, My Life is Sync, that's the video that came out, that was about Bobby too, um, but oh well. I said, BJ, tell everyone to not go upstairs, I'm begging you, I'm going to have a blackout, my eyes are going in space. So I was having a blackout nearly, because I was fucking, my head was fucked. Um, Bobby, bro, you good, you really worrying me, mate. Yeah, I was worried because she was acting weird. She was, she was acting, you know, weird around me. She was, she was telling every Tom Dick and Harry, which is fine, go tell every Tom Dick and Harry, because recently you literally told me you're not going to say anything, which means you're a hypocrite and also two-faced, which is also what I named you on my phone. I called you two-faced on my phone. So if you do ring me, I would not be answering. If I do answer... Don't expect me to be fucking nice, okay? Not after the shit you said about me. And the mental, you know, the mental distort that you fucking put me through. Because you did have to free me, not tell me anything. And also, egging me on and making me even worse. Not just that, you legit caused my family a little bit of stress with my mum. In fact, to be honest with you, Bobby, when my mum was in that living room... And my mum was stirring right at your face, right, on the other end of the room. You would not look at my mum once. You were so guilty. You were guilty what you did. You did not look at anyone. You legit made lies about the statement in the case. And then you went back in your statement, which I'm also going to show in this video, of her really proving and me nailing the coffin. Because guess what? I have even more proof. That I've never raped her, and she never. She, it was all just a lie and lie and lie. So anyway, after that, my mum told me to block her, and my mum also told me not to like speak to her and don't do anything and just you know stay quiet. 
And at this point, I'm not staying fucking quiet. It's stressing me out. My mental health is fucked. I'm right now, you know, every day of my life, I'm just thinking. I'm re... The, the whole situation is replaying, 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 replaying my fucking head. And it's doing me in. So, I'm going to talk about it either way. This is me, what's moving out. Because Saeed, you know, thingy. Not just that, mate. I, 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 I'm going to tell you straight, right? That's you with, with Kate, right? That's you in that fucking red dress. Now, you look like a fucking provy, right? You look like a fucking prostitute, mate. You look like a prostitute. Mate, what the fuck is that dress? Not just that. You legit... Your profile picture is all sexualized. Your whole demeanor is all sexualized. Everything about you was sexualized, and you're complaining about you getting sexual assaulted. If you got sexual assaulted, I don't believe that for a fucking second, mate. Because, once again, if you get sexual assaulted, you wouldn't be sure your ass crack. I'm really trying to get people to look at your ass and get people in your bed and having a body count of seven. I don't know about you, but when you get sexually abused and traumatized, you don't have a body count of seven, right? You don't count being raped as a body count, do you? I don't think you do anyway. If I got raped, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, that's one body count. Then you get raped again. Oh, that's two body count. So, recently, do I believe you? No, I fucking don't. You are the most irresponsible fucking piece of shit I've ever seen in my life, right? You are legit a piece of shit that needs to go in the fucking earth. You're lucky, Bobby, that I haven't swore on my brother's life, Max, that I weren't going to fucking destroy the shit out of you, bro. You legit, I was so angry. You're lucky... Like, when you was on your birthday, when I was packing my stuff on your birthday, while you was just having a jolly time with Kate, you know, enjoying yourself, taking photos, looking like a provy, getting your air on, while I was there, suffering, feeling like shit, moving my stuff with my mum, waiting to look at my mum, looking guilty as fuck. I'm just legit, I felt terrible for the whole situation of moving my stuff. I wasn't having a happy time. When I came here... I cried to my, my mate Lewis on the phone and in my opinion that's the first time I actually have cried to my mates and that's you know I know I said I didn't cry but I mean like I'm not crying in this video but I was crying with my mate Lewis not with him but at my mate Lewis telling everything about it because how hurt I was mate that stabbed me so deep it's like I just got my arm, my head, my my legs, my arm, my fucking hat all ripped out. It was hurting. Mate, I was hurting for months. To be honest with you, I still hurt to this day. It's calmed down a bit. I've got more better. But for the two weeks I was living in this house, I was hurting. Faisal was trying to keep me happy. I felt so sad. I felt depressed. I felt angry. But I was trying to protect you from my own self. Because I know if I really wanted to, I could probably fuck you up badly. Don't care what brothers you got, mate. Your brothers ain't shit. Okay, I don't care. Mate, I don't play about with this shit, right? After the whole situation, after me getting beaten up, battered around all them, having people after me. Mate, I'm not having no situation like that. I'm not putting my family in danger. I'm not putting myself in danger. And if I have to... I will protect everyone as I can. Yes, you angered me to the point where if I didn't swear to my brother's wife, that day I would have destroyed you, mate. If I was going to a school unit or anywhere around far away from my family's houses, mate, not only God must have prayed on you that day because, mate, you would not be walking. You would be in that fucking wheelchair for at least months. I would snap your fucking legs in half. I'll make sure you won't have no fucking legs. I'll make sure you have nothing to live to. I'll make sure I destroy everything. I don't fuck about. Legit, I am really fucking pissed, right? One thing you should never do is accuse me of rape when I never did, right? Putting me under amount of pressure because you're a girl and you got that p girl power. No, okay? 
I feel for the victims that actually do get raped and actually do get sexually abused by whoever. They're the people that deserve justice and deserve respect, not you. You do not revert any at all, in, in fact, zero respect from me or anyone around. I do not respect that tall, that type of behaviour, not at all. And I wish, like, the worst. I wish no harm to you, I wish you have the best life. But once again, at the same time, I wish the fucking worst. It's a mix of emotions, mate. And thought, this is me actually getting all my emotions out right now, just so you know, if you can't tell. Because right now, I'm really fucking hurt. And now, every time I go back to my YouTube channel, I hear your, the songs, like, do, do, do. In fact, let's see if I can get up. Hang on. There's two songs that remind you, remind me of you, right? This is one of them, okay? Beat It by... Hang on, give me a second. Beat It by Brooke. Right? Before Shopify, I felt like I didn't even Sorry, know just got the adverts. Were, and that's why I switched to Shopify. Right, while the advert's playing. But either way, you're the most pathetic bitch. And whoever is going to be with you next and be friends with you, if you're watching this video, mate, or people, whoever is going to be friends with her, watch your back with her. She's clearly a fucking scumbag. And also someone you should watch out for. Um... But this is a song that reminds me of her, and this is a song that pisses me off. I don't want to play it, but I have to, just to show you. Like, legit, that's the song that really fucks me up, like, big time. It, it fucks me up. Like, it, it, it really does, it really does fuck me up, and it's just something that really pisses me off. Um, and right now I can feel my anger actually building up already and I can actually feel, you know, actually being, you know, really hurt right now as I'm talking about this. I'm just trying to get my emotions, you know. And that's something just really just seeing you, dickhead. Yeah, you are a fucking dickhead. Um, <laughs> there's another song that reminds me of a... I'll try and find it for you. I don't want to be on. I really don't, but I'm just going to show you because you, it's just something you have to understand. I never have stamps. I never have stamps. stamps on there. Do they? I don't think they do. I I don't want any symphony of anyone, of course, and I don't want anyone to like to you know. So let me just find it. It's in this playlist. No, I just reminds me of Sophie, that one man reminds me of Sophie. Um, where the fuck is it, man? Bro, I actually can't think how to spell or remember the name. Ah, Clyde. Is it Clyde? Okay, right. It's on. I really don't want to put it on. I'm not still in the blink of like fucking tears right now. And going back to my old videos back when, you know, in August, July, last summer, it all reminds me of the situation and you and 
it really does hurt. There you go, find it. I'm just gonna let it play. I don't really care if this video is copyrighted. I'm just gonna let you play. I can't listen to all of that because it's actually really fucking bothering me and it's actually making me anger. You know what? The funny thing is, my anger right now, I'm trying, because I'm in my gaming room, I can't actually do nothing. Like, I, but, <sighs> but I really want to get my anger out somehow and somewhere. But, you know, it has really fucking angered me to the point where, you know, it's really bothered me. And it just really hurt. And just no matter how much, like no matter how many times I try and forget, your name pops up in my recommended, your songs come up every now and then. I really, really, really wish that none of this situation happened and it's just something that would never happen again hopefully and if it does I think I'll end up breaking and end up just you know fucking up <sighs> well back to the text managers anyway because I'm going to say any more proof but that's our see anyway back to the text managers I guess So let me just get to the text messages again. These are the screenshots now, you know, this thingy. There we are. I don't want to show her number because I don't really want to show her number, but. Alright, so I can show there, because it's been blurred out. But there you go. She changed her name to Bobby Joe Brown. Um, she even tried to follow request me on my private account, as you can see. She tried to follow request me. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to cry in this video, but. You know, shit happens, and so we're trying to get to the part where, yeah, I'm my manager did me help. There you go, there's more proof that you know, thingy. So, you're telling me that if. You're you're going to tell me that if someone vapes you, you're going to follow them, follow them and try and contact them again. Because this was around about, let me get the, the information, 20, the 31st of December 2022, which was like the week after I got removed. 10 days beyond two days that. Um, yeah, so you kept them texting me saying that can you delete the videos and stuff well no because they all were all the way up and i'm not deleting shit not after what you did anyway nothing's been deleted i could have done but to be honest with you i think that's you know i'm not deleting nothing because i want people to see how much of a fucking bitch you are and you know for this situation to never be forgotten um with me anyway um but well, that's fine. If they're not coming down, then I'm sure the police will be able to somehow get them off. 
No, the police won't be able to get them off. The police, I'll be honest with you, the police are just, I don't know what they're doing, they don't want to tell me. Uh, not sure, we'll find out on Monday and see what can be done. Any further discussion with staff that are on shift, I have set days where they give me handover, handover with them, regarding everything we've spoken to them. I'm saying that I'm just I'm saying that all I can do because but I don't care about them. They can suck my nan L. I'm busy with family shift. Yeah, this was on New Year's Eve and I was getting harassed by Bobby and get harassed by people on my family days out which really upset me and I actually went to the bathroom and tried to like calm myself down before I went back out because I didn't want my brother or my brother and sisters to f like see what I was like how what state I am because I really love my brother and sisters I did love this girl too but not anymore I'm busy with uh, I delete I would and yeah I still can delete it but you can fuck off now thinking about it I'm not going to delete it but I do I do not want anything to do with the sluts they need to move on they, they do and I know that's ironic now me saying that because I'm making a video right now it's over two hours long but anything else you can speak to staff at on shift blah blah blah, blah. I follow up on Monday right they don't need to go on my account so not my problem You need to stop making videos off Bobby. Well, no, I'm not going to. This is a, probably not the last video, but it's probably one of, the, one of the last videos, and this is a proper breakdown of everything. <coughs> they they know that I scheduled it, unscheduled it. You're not allowed to do anything regarding Bobby. It's a police case. Well, mate, I don't give a fuck. Like, it's what it gets a statement now, and to be honest with you, like... What's she gonna do? Uh, like, to be honest with you, in this situation, in this situation, it's just, you know, it's all stupid and <clears throat> I don't really give a fuck. Legit, it's just looking at Twitter. But that's how angry I am to say no, but I wish it not how I'm doing it. I don't know. It's just, mate, my head is west and please, you know, please understand that if you was in my boots right now, in this. You'd probably be the same, and you know, especially you gotta think about my life as a whole me getting accused, being bullied, being alone. Really, I have 3.8k subscribers, but I was mostly a lone kid back then, and I always have been alone. I never really had mates, and when I did have mates, they used to fuck me up. Um, and all I've tried to do is make people laugh, smile, try to make people have the best time possible. And sometimes, yes, I do do tough love and sometimes I might swear at someone. But that's not because I'm being a bully or being mean to them. It's me just being, you know, like, me being supportive. Like Declan recently, he made, he made a clothing company, but... I'm not going to turn it into tablets when it won't give me the website or it won't give me anything, information, has no TOS and has no protection on, on this clothing brand and, you know, yeah. It's too late, they're being uploaded public now, all of them. Like, there's nothing I can I can do except for private them. It's not the matter to do deal with me, it's a police to deal with it. I don't care, the police are fucking retired anyway and... The police actually, I wish the police did do something about it. Um, we are messaging you as you upload a TikTok of Buddy yesterday, which was so me and it was posted 19 hours ago. Yeah, it wasn't a TikTok about Bobby. Oh yeah, it was actually. It was a, it was a photo, but once again, then photos have been uploaded before and yeah. As Bobby has also been advised to do the same thing due to you uploading a TikTok of her. What, Bobby? Hang on. If you feel you need to report it, then report it with staff to GMP. As Bobby has also been advised to do the same thing due to you due to you uploading videos of her yesterday. I didn't. I didn't. 
I did it that that's a month ago and I forgot it was scheduled. This is why I just message you. Where I don't want it to fucking message me because if, if see, I'm sure to like if I see you on the streets, right? I swear down. I I legit will probably lose my temper. I pray, I pray to God, right? I legit pray to God. I don't meet her on the streets. I pray to God because I don't want to lose my fucking temper. I really don't want to lose my temper. It's one thing I don't want to do. I I will, I don't want to hammer. I don't want to do anything. But once I snap, I I I can't. I just can't deal with it. I can't deal with the pressure of it. Um, they are here to support you. I don't think they are, but I don't think anyone is really. I think I don't know. I think I don't know who's. A, I don't know at this point. I don't know who's against me, who is with me, who doesn't care about it. I don't know anything anymore. I kind of, you know, I feel like I'm in the dark and. The dark is my only place safe at this point, and I don't really want any mates or anyone. And you know, when people are actually trying to fucking tell me I need to do this and that, it's just you know. And the reason why I've been uploading so much on YouTube is just because it's the only thing that's been keeping me happy. But there's only so much you can do before it catches up to you, and you know it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a screenshot. And then more vid more videos. That's Lucy's dad. Don't know why he's there. Uh, made a pump the edit. The Tiana situation is still going on. And that was me. You've probably seen that photo before. Just old photos I've been uploading on my Insta because you know, I made a new I made a new person called Jessica. But I made a few cooking and warning by an artist that I saw. Um, so that was her. That's Jessica. That's my profile picture. And that's a person that I can not rely on because she fits the sort of fictional, but like. It feels like the only person that gives me joy, and that's very worrying, to be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any more screenshots I can show you. And a video blew up recently. All these are the screenshots of my old Twitter, the old Twitter. Declan's on my phone for some reason. Pegasus merch. I'm not going to promote it this video, but um, 19th birthday. Yeah, I think that's everything. I keep on going up until we get somewhere. Me and Tegan fell off again, like always. Um, I'm not going to show you this, but there was a glitch in Facebook that happened, and I thought it was them that were thingy, that were, you know, doing it, that were putting my social medias on there. Keep them going, keep them going. I need it to the top anyway. It's about to get to the top. No no photo of me. I look like a fucking psycho though. Near to the top, near to the top. These are all just old photos. Here we go. To the top. So, basically, that's what happened, and that's what's being secretive about my old channel, um, a secret that I wanted to tell you and complain about, and once again, if I don't upload after this video, you know why, 
you know why exactly this video is taken down you know why i've been doing i've been i legit talked for two and a half hours and i wish i don't know what i wish anymore I'm, i i don't know what to do like i generally don't know what to do anymore like i feel like i'm lost i feel like i'm in the dark feel like I'm knackered every day. I sleep about three hours a night. I'm off the medication now. My medication, my antipsychotics, I'm off that now. I've, I'm now moving to a different social care. Um, I'm also with, you know, to be honest with you, scared. A little bit scared that I don't know what's happening every day in my life. I just repeat the same situation of that situation of Bobby every day of my life and every time I hear that song or I go back to my, my old videos to go sort of play this and doing them play this is really hurting and also since there's connections and I connect I'm pretty much connected with everyone in my town my, my, in Oldham um, she keeps them uh, she keeps them coming up and recommended, um, because the thing is I don't block people. How angry I am! I never block people. There's literally no one on my block list. I block her for a bit and then unblock her because I I don't really like to keep people blocked. Um, but she keeps them coming recommended, and I reckon there's some ways that you probably make it better. But I I I, I at this point. I've got no ideas in my head. Um, we also hit a million subscribers, a uh, million subscribers, a million views. But a couple of years ago, that would have made me happy. I'm very grateful, of course, but now I've got it. I don't know. I just don't feel the excitement I used to have if I did hit that. If I hit that about five, when I first started my channel, I'd be fucking buzzing. But now I hit it now. I tell the truth, I actually don't really feel happy or excited. It puts us, it put a little bit of a, a, gl a glaze on my mouth, but didn't actually do anything particular. I hope this video hasn't corrupted because this is a two and a half, this is a two, two hour, three, two hour and forty minute video of me explaining the whole thing, the whole Mia, Bobby, and everything, and yeah. But guys. I love you all, I hope you know that, I love everyone, and we all do stuff that we shouldn't do, and I wish the best of luck to everyone involved, even though how angry I am, I really want to kill some people, but, you know, some morals you can't do, and I just have to find a way to control my anger, and to control my, my own feelings, and... I don't know what to put back into. I've been putting my music, but I don't feel like that's enough. I've been doing boxing and fighting. I don't feel like that's enough. No matter what I do, it just doesn't feel enough. No matter what stuff I, I do, I, I could do anything. And I bet I'm probably not going to feel any better. And I wish people just talked to me and people stop being such a bitch and hiding behind a screen to chat shit behind me but I see why because I probably would lose my temper and yeah and pretty much anyway I hope you enjoy this video um please let you have to, I don't want to subscribe because it's not a video you want to subscribe to um but you know, I fucking hate you, Bobby, and I wish you were fucking dead after time. I wish you the pits of hell. I wish you were, you know, in afterlife, and I hope I see you in the afterlife, because I will fucking destroy you. Uh, I will curse you. I will be on the devil on you. But I'm sorry if you felt hurt. But, yeah, you are a toxic bitch, and, yeah. Where we're going to see next. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to go. See ya.
but I'm not gonna do nothing. But I pray to God you don't see me in the streets because I'll put I would lose my fucking shit. No matter who you're with, you could be with your dad, your mom, your fucking brothers. I don't care. I would lose my fucking shit. Um. So because of what you've done, I know, of course, making false accusations is extremely life life changing and can change everything but i'm rambling on right now i just i'm gonna go i'm putting a go cry myself to sleep and eat fucking reese's but anyway see you later guys um peace out i guess and of course with every ramp video fuck you bobby fuck you mia me check, kind of fuck you, but not really. I don't really mind you, you don't really play on my mind. Sophie, fuck you. And the rest of the people that are retards and complete fucking downies. And people that try and put me down and, you know, haters and stuff like that. Also, fuck you. And, yeah. See you guys. Peace. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm procrastinating here. I'm just thinking. I don't know. My, 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 I need to shut the fuck up. I need to fucking go. I need to go. Right. See you guys. Peace. Fuck, I just pressed the wrong fucking thing.